Hi, welcome to the first entry of our instructional video on how to run payroll with HR easily. In this video, you'll be learning how to update your company basic and payroll information, add new employees, run your payroll, and finally generate your gyro file as well as statutory submission files. Let's get started by first logging into our account. To do so, head over to the URL bar, key in app easily.com and hit enter. From here, key in your email address as well as your password and hit login. Once loaded, you'll find yourself on the home page, also known as the dashboard of your account. Here, you'll find several useful tools such as a nifty calendar. You can expand this calendar simply by hitting the drop down arrow. In this calendar, you'll find useful information such as upcoming payroll and CPF processing reminders, approved annual leaves, as well as upcoming holidays. With this, you can better plan and manage your upcoming schedule and ensure that you never miss another deadline. From here, you'll also have the option to run your monthly or fortnightly payroll, create a new ad hoc payroll, and if you're subscribed with our leave module, you'll also be able to approve pending employee leaves. Now that you're familiar with your homepage, let's go take a look at some of the key navigations you should also familiarize yourself with. Up on the top right corner, you'll find three icons with the first one being other branches or companies. Here you'll be able to toggle between the many companies or branches you're managing. And if you like to create a new branch or company, you may also do so here. All you have to do is fill in the company name, business registration number, as well as a new URL to create a new branch or company. Next, we have the user profile button, which takes you directly to your personal profile. Should you ever need to make any amendments to your profile, this is the quickest way to access your personal profile. Lastly, is our general settings button, which allows you to access your user settings to update your login email as well as password. From here, you'll also be able to access your billing and invoice information, and here's where you'll click to sign out from your account. On the left column, you'll find the company information as well as staff information button. The company information button will take you to your company page where you can update your company information as well as edit all settings on a company level. Here is also where you'll find the option to download all relevant reports as well as submission files. We'll come back to this shortly towards the end of our session. The staff information on the other hand is where all employee profiles are stored. Here's where you'll come to to add new employees, manage employee movements, as well as the updating of employee basic information. In order to run your first payroll, you'll first have to update your company basic and payroll information, as well as add all employees you'll be paying salaries to. To update the company basic information, Head over to Company Information and at the Company Basic Information section, select Edit. In the pop-up screen, go ahead and update and amend all mandatory fields, which is your company trade name, establishment year, as well as company type. You may also take the time to update the non-mandatory fields such as your website, contact information and so forth. Once completed, go ahead and hit Save. Next up, we'll be heading over to the Company Payroll Information tab to update the information. Once on the page, go ahead and scroll down to the Company Payroll Info section and hit Edit. Once again, in the pop-up screen, go ahead and fill up all mandatory fields. Under Tax Details, you've got your IRAS reference number as well as your Officer Contact Number, your Company Bank Details and your Mandatory CPF Submission Number. Last but not least, under the Payroll Details, Choose between paying salaries monthly or fortnightly. Indicate when you'll be paying your employees for reminder purposes. And of course, indicate when you'll begin using HR Easily to run your payroll. HR Easily will generate your first payroll based on the month indicated here. The last thing we'll be doing here is adding a company logo which is also reflected on payslips. To do so, scroll on back to the top of the page and click the camera icon. From here, go ahead and select your desired logo. And there you have it, we've successfully updated our company basic and payroll information. Next, to add new employees, we'll now go over to staff information. From here, we'll go ahead and select add new employee. 
go ahead and fill in all the mandatory fields, which are the full name, gender, birthday, nationality, residency status, ID type, ID number, race and religion. If you'll be running payroll for this particular employee, be sure to also check the following option. Lastly, you can grant online access to your employees by checking the following option. To grant online access, you must first ensure that the email field has been filled. You can also choose to grant additional access permission should they require access to help you manage HR and payroll related tasks. Once completed, go ahead and hit save. Upon completing the employee basic information, you'll automatically be redirected to the employee payroll page. We'll first edit the payroll information by hitting the edit button. Go ahead and fill up the payroll details based on how you'll be paying your employee. The statutory fund settings will automatically be set based on the race you've selected under the basic profile. Lastly, you have the option to enable payslip notification if an employee has been granted online access. You can also enable passworded payslips, which by default will take the employee's ID number. Moving on, we'll go ahead and input the employee's current employment details. Here, you'll be able to input the employee's destination, employment status, for example, probation or confirmed, the joint date of the employee, as well as the salary amount. Upon completion, go ahead and click the update button. This brings us to the last employee setting, which is the work hour settings. Here, you'll be required to indicate if the employee is paid on a monthly basis or hourly basis, where hourly basis will be based on total number of hours worked in a week multiplied by the pay rate. For a typical office employee who works a 9 to 5 job from Mondays to Fridays, go ahead and select monthly basis and fixed hours. From here, in the total hours worked in a day, go ahead and indicate 8 hours. For this example, I'll go ahead and update the start time and end time to 8.30 to 5.30. You also have the option to indicate if Saturdays and Sundays are working days for your particular company. Once you're done, go ahead and click Save. With that, we've completed the setup process and are now ready to run our payroll. If you're looking to add multiple employees in one go, don't worry, we have you covered. All you have to do is go over to Manage Employees, select Add Employees, and from here, you'll have a sheet where you can add all your employee details in one go. To run your first payroll, all you have to do is click the Run Payroll button found on your homepage. This will prompt the system to generate your first payroll based on the start date month indicated in your payroll setup. Once generated, go ahead and hit Manage to access your payroll table. First things first, go ahead and update your payroll basic details. Here you will have to indicate your payment date, which ultimately will affect your gyro file, as well as your payslip notification date. You can also add a custom notification message if you wish to. Be sure to save the setting by toggling the Save button at the top right corner. Now, the last thing left to do would be to scroll down to your payroll table and ensure that all values are reflected correctly based on your setup. You'll notice that all your statutory contributions has automatically been calculated for you, so that's one less thing you'll have to worry about. And of course, if you need to add additional pay items, for example, claims or allowances, you may do so by hitting the Add Pay Item button and selecting from your list of pay items. If you need to create your own custom pay items, you may also do so by referring to our knowledge base articles. If you'd like to view the payslip, simply click on the view payslip located under the employee's name and you'll be able to take a look at the copy of the payslip. You'll also have the option to add additional comments or remarks which will appear in the payslip. All you have to do is right click and add a comment. Once you've verified all the amounts and you're ready to move on, you have the option of saving the payroll as a draft, have it submitted for approval, or in this case, simply go ahead and approve it. With your payroll now processed, all that's left would be to generate your gyro file as well as your CPF submission files. To do that, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where you'll find the gyro file as well as your CPF submission file. From here, go ahead and generate the relevant files and have it submitted and processed accordingly. With that, we've come to the end of our first instructional video. We hope you found this video helpful and if ever in doubt, feel free to reach out to our support team who is ready to serve you from Mondays to Fridays at 9am to 5pm via our intercom chat. 
Until our next video, take care.